what is going on sexy salmon Liner squad welcome to episode three of number one dueler in the world goes from bronze to masters or just bronze to masters series i haven't decided what i'm gonna call it yet because number one dueler in the world is quite quite the flex and i am number one dueler at the moment of recording but it could change you never know Medusa. i actually I, I don't plan on being number one for very long because um well I'm, I'm recording this series pretty much all in like one or two sittings so i, I would assume that people are going to grind back up but you never know you never know i'm going to go bluestone here i will have my revenge um and i'll just go transcendent i mean transcendent's got like omega buffed i guess it's not that buffed right i don't know it got it got really buffed in my eyes because it um it got like 250 gold taken out of it oh actually i am still rank one in the world right now Pog. Pog, pog, pog. Um. Oh, he did blue. He did blue. Okay. Now I'm going to wait here and I want to, because he's probably going to come to red. He's not coming to red. I'm an idiot. Now he's going to beat me to wave. He's coming to red. He's just slower than I thought. Fuck. <laughs> All right, obviously he's going to out clear me and he's going to wrap me. Oh my damage. Oh my God. What the? F okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Medusa damage is okay, boys. No need to think about rebalancing here. Let's just. Let's just move on. Nothing, nothing to see. <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? That was so much. I actually bursted him 100 to zero in like less than three seconds. At level three. Oh, four, I guess. Boom. All right, second kill. Second kill in a minute and 20 seconds. That being said, though, he will have his ult soon. And once he has his ult, you never know what could happen. I'm not going attack speed boots because I just want to frag out with power in this game here. Um. All right. So he's he's clearing wave. He's doing good Anubis things. My two doesn't clear the wave yet, which is just embarrassing, if I'm honest. I killed him twice, but I can't clear the wave. <laughs> All right, now I leveled my two up one extra time now, so it should be able to clear. I don't have beads though with his with his alt, so even though I can clear and be aggressive. I don't know if it's the right play because I could still die very easily. Like I'm saying, like even though I'm still ahead, even and it's not close right now. At the end of the day, he's still Anubis. He lands a wrap three alt combo and I'm dead as hell. And there's nothing I can do about it, you know? Especially because he has Bancross now. He's level seven, so he's only one level down. You, you can't you can't get too cocky. It's very easy to lose from any position in, in Smite. One quick outplay and you're you're Donzo McGee. All right, that time we killed him. That was a that was a really good fight. The reason that we were able to kill him, you know, I just talked about him being able to kill me, is because I was able to. Uh, actually, I altered his his two. So after CC me into the two, you don't have much to worry about. But if the two hits you, you're dead as heck. Power down. 
three minutes and 40 seconds in. I can't help but notice that I feel like this guy just quit the game. Like, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I think he just quit. And I, I did have higher MMR this game, so I, I doubt... I doubt that I will get very much from him. Maybe like 20. This is such a new thing for me, by the way. Actually getting MMR. Because... Even when you're even when you don't have very high MMR, but you're just like sitting in GM or like high masters or something 90% of the games you play you get either plus zero or plus one It's crazy but You know playing on this account really fun Not because I'm beating up people that I shouldn't be fighting because First off, I would fight them on my main. That's just how it works. But second, um, because I'm not really beating them up. Like, I have really good games, actually, still. All right. He surrenders in two seconds. Or he doesn't surrender and I have to kill Titan. That's fair, too. Nope, he surrendered. All right. Well, a super shirt. Sh shirt. Super shirt. Super shirt first game. Um, I guess let's go into game two. Kind of a lame one, but you now you expect those kinds of games in in a bronze to masters series. Kind of surprised it took this long to get there, honestly. But uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in game two. <clears throat> Welcome back, boys. Game number two. Um, what do I want to play? I'm gonna play it. Another hunter, but not like a meta hunter. We'll do like an off meta hunter. We'll do like Cupid. Chernobog? Chernobog's not very good, yeah. You want him or no? No? All right, we'll play Cupid. Cupid! Oh, shit. We're fighting a Hades. And he's got higher MMR, which means plus 100 for me if I win. Which, hopefully, I should because, you know, like I said, or I've been saying, I have 2,000 MMR. I shouldn't right. be losing right, right now, <laughs> at least not yet. It would be kind of awkward if I just got completely fucking dumpstered. But it would also be pretty funny. So I, you know, <laughs> there's that, there's that little mix of like, while yes, I probably should try not to get fucking shit on. It also would be really funny, and maybe. Maybe it's not a bad thing if I lose. But I'm obviously I'm gonna try hard, right? I don't wanna I don't wanna get a single loss in this series, bronze to masters. I obviously when I get like upper diamond, I'll probably have like 2.8 to 3k MMR. So my uh my MMR will not allow me to be greedy when it comes to um if I can win or not. Like, just be super... Like, I'm going to have to start playing on her and Hoi and shit like that when I get higher MMR. Which is why I'm playing not bad picks right now, but, like, less meta picks. Because later on in the series, I'm going to have to do a little bit more tryhardiness. But it's, ex it's expected. I mean, obviously, with Bronze to Master series, you're not going to be able to just breeze your way through. Oh, I'm actually really surprised. He went for his speed buff instead of this red here. That's weird to me. He also started sprint. Why did he start sprint? Oh, I guess to get out of my alt. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, he did his blue. Good stuff. Good stuff. He does have his alt. If he dashes in here to clear, which I assume he will, um, I'm going to full combo. Damn. Just not enough. Just not enough. Super close. Like, less than 100 HP, but... 
Unfortunately, it does be like that sometimes. Or you're just far out of the kill. Alright, we go tier 2 boots here. Oh, my neck. We're gonna go an HP chalice here. Something I really don't ever do on hunters. But, uh... The reason I'm doing it in this game is because Hades has so much sustain. Just by clearing the wave and being aggressive. That I feel like I'm gonna need something extra than I normally have in order to keep up. And in this case, I'm, I think it's a chalice that'll do it for me. I could be wrong, right? Like, I don't know everything or even most things. And, I mean, if you ask Shiv, I'm wrong 99% of the time. Which is true. But not when it comes to Smite. I know things in Smite. Mainly because it's been my life for, like, way too long. I just dashed into a Hades ult. So maybe I actually don't know anything about Smite. Maybe I'm actually just stupid. I don't know why I thought I had beads. I bought Aegis. I wanted beads. Well, you know. Kind of ironic that I said I know things about Smite and then immediately died. But it's okay. For the first time in the entire series, I think I'm actually losing. Right now. Which is pretty sick. I'm not upset about it. The reason I ulted like that is because I wanted to make sure I got the wave with it. Because he's going to clear the wave and... If I don't hit the wave with that, then uh, I quite literally will never be able to clear. And once I have some items online... Once I have some items online, like he's got Bancrofts and I have no items right now. So he's obviously going to dumpster me right now. I'm just gonna back here. He's probably gonna go get a red buff. It would make the most sense. Oh, he didn't. He cleared the wave and now he's gonna go get a red buff. I wish I could see which way he went so I could go the other way. He backed, bro. What the? Alright, that's a really bad decision. Backing right there when you have control over both red buffs. That's really bad. Now, obviously, I still can't fight him, right? I'm not delusional. I finished boots, but I didn't get transcendence, so... There's no way I win a fight yet. Does help, though. I'm pretty sure he did this, Red. He didn't. All right. Awesome. This gives me transcendence. Well, not yet, I guess, but close. All right. He does heal the full here, but we did get his sprint. So that's actually really good. Are we back? We finished transcendence. And we start stacking. So even though I did die. Um, we're only a couple hundred gold behind. Not even a couple hundred. We are just a hundred gold behind. Thanks to me getting more buffs than him. And making sure I'm there for all the waves still. Your middle tower is under attack. I'm, actually, I'm higher level than him too. I'm actually higher level. I'm going to start maxing my three. I think three points in my two is enough to keep the sustain going. So I'm going to start maxing my three for that extra attack speed. 
Yeah, I finished that transcendence and now I'm actually pumping some numbies. So he can't just completely abuse me for no reason now. He actually has to think about how he wants to play this. I guess he doesn't have to think about it too much whenever I miss my uh my one. dash on me but i thought i could aegis in time but he feared so quickly i really need beads like i not going beads immediately was such a bad decision for me um yeah i'm just gonna go xc here all right well i'm officially getting dump scared right now this could be risky man i mean this is not good right because he doesn't even have a starter item he doesn't even have a starter on him right now, which means he's going to go Boombas or he's going to go Animosity. Either one is going to shit on me even more. So I got to start, uh, I got to start playing better. I got to start either, like, it's not, I don't even think that I'm not respecting him, right? Like, I think I am respecting him. He's just playing really well. He's not missing anything. He knows when to engage. It also sucks that I'm Cupid right now, too. Not because it's like... I think Cupid is bad, but just because I don't think Cupid holds a candle to Hades. Or there's his, uh... There's his ult down. I actually think I want to fight this. Mm. Oh, missing that one sucks. If I didn't miss that one, I could kill. But also, it's kind of okay because I get enhanced red here. He definitely will not make it here in time. So now... I can use Hades strats against him. That being said, he's also getting that red buff. But I think it's okay because I'm not even going to go over there. I'm going to let him have it. And just be able to take tower really fast. Might have been worth it for me to dash in there and try to get the kill, but if I miss an auto, I I die, so I don't know. I think instead of me risking that death, I'm just gonna take that tower and be on my merry way. Alright. I'm gonna go Xe and Aussie this game and probably Kins too. Let's see, he does have red buff, so I might want to try to push tower here, but he's not. It's weird. I don't know. He is almost level 17, so maybe he's just kind of biding time for that animosity online. But I'm it's a completely even game now, even though I'm down two kills. Oh, I'm go this way. Oh gosh. Oh. What? I did not think that was going to kill me. This three did 517 damage and there was no minions around. It was just me. 
Whoa. Okay, that that was unexpected. <laughs> what the fuck? That's insane. Um, so this is gonna be a Kins, by the way, not an Aussie, and then I'm gonna go uh Toxic Blade. That was nuts that that three killed me. That was insane. All right, well, I just got the game even and then I died again. So rip. This was probably the worst game I've I've played in a long time. Just mechanically and also like misunderstanding what the enemy is capable of. Not as a player, but as a god. But I got my kins online now. All right, be back. I'm actually dead. He's gonna blink on me and I am gonna die, huh? Oh, I actually lived. Oh, I actually lived. Thank you, Aegis. Super close. Really, 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 really close. I want to go Toxic Blade, and then I'm going to... After I get Toxic Blade, I'm going to sell uh, Mannequin for Pestilence. I don't think Mannequin actually does anything. Right, he went right, by the way, so... We can get this red. This left red. Next item is Toxic Blade. He has Blink, by the way. Keep that in mind. Didn't use it against me. I'm doing a lot of damage now with this Kins. He's gonna blink on me and I'll and I'll just die. I have to let him do it. Alright, he's he's dead here, hundred percent. Nice! And I have one minion left that will take away backdoor protections for me. And I have the enhanced red, so that should just straight up be a Phoenix. Yeah, I mean, 171 in auto. Come on. Phoenix down. Toxic Blade acquired. And now... Let's see, am I ahead? I am actually winning now. It's really surprising he still doesn't have a starter item. He's going to get either Boombas or Animosity. I'm not sure which one. He's going Telekines, which makes me think it might be Animosity, but he also hasn't built any HP other than that. Like, other than what Animosity will give him. So maybe it's actually going to be a Boombas. was not good by him. I will just be straight up honest. That was very bad by him. Because that was his blink and his ult. And I didn't have to use anything. I just had to dash away. If he was going to continue that aggression, then sure, it would be understandable. Like if he's going to dash at me and try to really go for the kill, at least force my relics out, maybe my ult, then I would understand it. But 
Blink ulting and then running away makes no sense, especially when I'm the one that's dying, not you. All right, sprint down. Uh, I hit the one. Oh, apparently I didn't hit the one. But I do have minions in, so they're just fragging Titan. All right. Doesn't have ult. All right, I do respect it. I do very much respect the fight, um, but he just cleared the wave. He just cleared the wave, so I knew he didn't have his three up. So I stayed in the boxing ring and kept fucking swinging. And we actually ended up getting the kill, which ended up winning the game. So we had a really bad first game, but then a very intense and like tough second game of the series or of the of the episode. So that's super cool, actually. That was the first, like, real tough match I had. I said GG, he said K. On Fort. Uh, I guess I will see you guys in game three. Unless he says some more funny shit. See you there. Welcome back to game number three of the episode, boys. This is the promotion game, as is all game number threes. Unless I start getting a lot less TP per win, which will happen. Um, I'm fighting somebody with higher MMR. And I'm 2150, right? So, like, if you have higher MMR than 2150, you're starting to get pretty good. You know, you know mechanics, you know rotations, you know what you got to do to win. Uh, and I've definitely fought this guy in my main account before. So, this will be fun. This will be fun. And it's a Kronos Mirror match. So, you know shit's going to go down. You just know it. Streaming? How do you know who I am? I haven't uploaded any of these videos. How? Do you know who I am? Question mark. I didn't put the question mark, but I said it out loud. Kind of cringe. Sam. How do you know? How do you know? Oh, I uploaded the duel or the, the conquest video on this account. That's how he knows. Okay. Okay. I understand. So people do know who I am. So why am I recording this whole series in one sitting? If people already know who I am. <laughs> the whole point of doing it in one sitting was so it would be secret. So my enemies wouldn't know who I was. Clearly, that was a mistake. He's going animosity. I will also be going animosity this game, so it's going to be uh, pretty even. Let's see. He is in mid still. I was going to say, let's see if I can steal his speed, but he's actually in mid still. All right, rude. Hit me with an ability again. Kind of fucked up. I missed my ability and you hit me with yours. God, you're fucking cool. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm bad, dude. I literally missed everything. I missed everything, but I still outraded him. He did spam laugh me though, so... You're definitely gonna die, right? Like, nothing you can do about it anymore. I'm sorry. Okay. We go back here. All right, fine. I guess we're just auto trading. You're not going to kill me. I don't know what this is. Your middle tower is under attack. Time is money. 
I don't know what that really weird like aggression thing was that he just did for no reason. Because he has mana and I don't, but it's I mean it's good for me. Because now he's he's backing, obviously, right? But um he's gonna be slow on the back, which means I get all of his buffs. Like I just get everything. And I have a Bancroft, so if he tries to fight me. <clears throat> if he tries to fight me, he just loses. Let me win. I'm not letting you win. You spam laughed me. I'm going to shit down your throat and not think twice about it. Alright, he is coming this way. He does have full boots. Why not? Why not? Mm. All right. <clears throat> we both have the back here. My throat is making weird noises. I'm assuming... Why... He just stays too long, man. That's your issue. If you watch this video, Known USA, which I assume you will because you know who I am. Um, you'll gain 300 MMR if you just back more often. And I'm not trolling. Like, you're losing this game right now. <clears throat> not because I'm fighting better than you, but because I'm farming better than you. Like, I have five buff control to your one. You gotta stop being greedy with the waves on no mana. It is not the play, bud. All right. I will say though, this is a really even game so far though. Like even though um even though I'm farming a lot higher than him and you know I'm I'm higher level than him and whatnot, but the fights are still really close. <clears throat> My next item is gonna be lifesteal boots, obviously, and then after lifesteal boots, I'm gonna go. Probably Talisman of Energy. And I know he is as well, so. Wants to stop my back, huh? I was going to ring a Hecate. greedy you're really really greedy you can't just walk up to me and murder me i'm not that easy at least i would like to think i'm not that easy his speed buff is coming up i didn't get my second relic yet because i don't know what i want but we'll see we'll see the next red buffs are going to be game changing because if he gets one he could just backdoor and obviously, I'm not caring about uh, power or anything. He's focused a lot more on tower right now than I am because I know 
at the seven minute mark when enhanced red comes up and when i'm level 17 and i have an animosity with my enhanced red that nothing will withstand my chronos autos towers phoenix titan whatever doesn't matter he is extremely focused on getting tower down quickly which doesn't uh make sense to me at least not on this map I'm okay if he wants to do some damage to me here. I don't mind it. I don't think I'm ever in trouble of dying here, so. I do so much more damage to you than you do to me, and it's not even close. Alright, he's backing. I'm gonna just this wave and then i'll back my talisman and then we fight towards or for the red buff and i go telekines obviously and i go blink he's got a really weird build Like, his build doesn't really make sense. My build gives me attack speed, movement speed, you know, like HP for the animosity I'm going to build later. His build is more just like... Defense and move speed, which, I mean, isn't bad, but... Not as good. dude cool beans he did get a red buff but he didn't do the right thing afterwards like for me when i got red buff i ran to the other red to make sure he was doing it and if he wasn't i was gonna double up but he was doing it and then um i cut him off guard while he was doing the red buff forced his alt and then after forcing his alt it's uh it's pretty simple right he has one option he follows me to mid lane to make sure that i don't take his tower but what he did was he actually ran around and because he ran around, it gave me enough time to actually be in good position to, to take tower. But he'll learn for next time. He has this matchup. bees for both of us I really want to get this darn phoenix okay he blinked in and tried to murder me and instead got clapped And that will most definitely be the Phoenix down. Time even stars burn out. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy Phoenix. Damn, I'm actually so ahead that I could stay and do um I could stay and do his speed. And obviously, I'm level 18, he's level 15. He cannot get animosity, and I already have it. So, I'm pretty sure this game is just over. I don't think he has a chance to come back anymore. 
We definitely did have one before, but like it's over, man. But it was a, a really good like fighting game early. I just think his build, um, his build and his movement is a little weird. I missed. Yeah, okay, so he's super tanky. I mean, just crazy tanky. It's expected. I mean, if you go animosity, right, you're obviously they're going to be super tanky, but all right. He used all his abilities on the wave, so I'm just gonna take the time to hit tower. You know, all of that, he just used all his abilities. It'll give me back into tower range and we can do some more uh, damage here. All right, Titan is almost dead. There really just is not much he can do, I don't think, anymore. Throwing a Hecate is a nice touch, by the way. I actually do like that. Do I die here? Mm, yeah, I think I do die. I'm not going to risk it. No risking. No need to really. Now he has his blink up, so he definitely could blink on me and try to kill me here, which I actually think would be the, the best play for him to do. But, um, he just let me back, which I think loses the game. Because even though he finished his animosity here, I think my build is better just in general. And his Titan is 1 HP. So even if his build was better, I don't think that he has a chance to win. I just do so much more damage than him. I do so much more. With with Telekines, with Telekines and Bancrofts and him having just Void Shield and Hecate, he just doesn't have as much power as me, right? Like, I have 440 power and he has, I think, like, probably in the 300s if I had to guess. Not to mention the on-hit effect extra of, uh, the extra on-hit effect of Telekines and, let me see how much power did he have. He had 276 power. I had 387. So even at full HP, when I'm not using, utilizing the extra 100 damage from Bancrofts, I still have over 100 power than him. So, and I have the extra on hit of Telekines, like I just said. So I think that my build was just, in general, quite a bit better there. But uh, he definitely played well. You can't take it away from him. And that's the promo. We go into Plat 2. Which uh, I kind of expected, you know, because in Platinum, it starts getting a little bit harder. I didn't expect to, to go from Plat 4 straight into Diamond. But on this next episode, which I believe is episode 4, the upcoming one, I will be in Diamond by the end of it, hopefully. And still undefeated. Let's go, dude. I'll see you guys next episode. Peace.